Hey everybody, Justin with VMP here. On the table in front of me, I have a Predator Swap base package that we put together. This is your starting point for a Predator Swap on all generations of Mustangs. These Predator Swaps, they're not simple because you're piecing everything together and it's very different from generation to generation. So the biggest thing we figured we could do was put together a package that is your jumping off point for your Predator Swap. We know you're gonna to need to address a cooling system, a belt drive, and a throttle body. So this package covers the basics and I'm gonna go over them here with you right now. First thing, this adapter allows you to use the stock 80 millimeter throttle body on a Gen 1, 2, or 3 on a Predator blower. You're gonna need this. Next thing, you're gonna need a heat exchanger. The Predator supercharger system has an air to water intercooler in the lid, it is an invert style supercharger. The air discharges up and the heat has to be carried away with a pump and dissipated with a heat exchanger. So we give you our latest, greatest high flow pump, wiring harness for that pump, reservoir, and our heat exchanger. This is a no fan entry level unit. We also have fanned units, but that's gonna require an a la carte uh, build out of these components. Finally, the most complicated part with the Predator swaps is the belt drive. We have been doing belt drives for superchargers for a long time, so we have it all figured out. I'm just gonna run through this real quick. Don't bother trying to buy all the Predator engine components because their front cover is very different and it requires a lot of parts and a lot of labor to swap everything over. So what we believe is the best course of action is to use the original Coyote front cover and balancer and then use our street Fiat kit to add a tensioner and the required bracketry to round the supercharger belt up to the supercharger. So tensioner, front cover idler, Fiat bracket. Now let's talk about the supercharger pulley. The Predator comes with a three inch pulley, makes 12 pounds of boost on a 5.2 with really good heads and cams. That means it makes about 14 and a half pounds of boost on a 5.0 Coyote with average Joe heads and cams. So um, don't do that on pump gas. Uh, we wanna see you pulley up when you do the Predator swap. We make all kinds of pulleys both in six, eight, and 10 rib. This is a good middle of the road pump gas pulley, 3.4 inches. You're gonna make about 11 to 12 pounds with this pulley. That varies depending on exhaust and how high you rev it and how free flowing your inlet is because positive displacement superchargers can only make as much boost as they can get air in through the intake and the throttle body. We give you a hub because the Predator has this newfangled clutched pulley. And we give you a tool to help hold the shaft while you remove the clutch pulley. And then we get you into our VMP pulley ecosystem. So this hub allows you to run a myriad of VMP pulleys. If you're running our six rib series of pulleys, you're gonna run the spacer underneath it. We've got the longer bolts. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for the Predator Swap. I think I covered the most critical areas. Throttle body, cooling, and belt drive. This is gonna get you started. Check out our guides for some of the generation specific harnesses and like the spacers to lift the blower up on a Gen 3 if you're gonna do that. And then F-150, if you wanna see some F-150 specific packages because the belt drive is different, drop a comment below and we'll work on getting those together for you. And, and once again, if you already have some parts or pieces, all these components are available individually on the VMP website. We just wanted to package them together to make it easier. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share.